Hey guys, what's going on? So DDR4 has been spotted on the Japan shelves. But guess what? It's at around 350 to $685. And okay, look, so I had this plan to actually upgrade to the Intel Skylake. It's not gonna happen right now unless those prices drop because Intel Skylake will support DDR4 up to 64 gigs. It does kind of make sense, right? So it's $350 to, for the 16 gig. I mean, it, it's good that there's actually a 16 gig module and a, a 32 gig module. You'll be able to upgrade and, you know, with single module, be, you'll, you'll get higher density uh, memory. So, but I mean, the down part is, is price. I don't really recall where DDR3 came in at. Because I had DDR2 at the time, we didn't want to focus on DDR3. But now that I'm actually looking at this, this is 600. I don't, know, I don't know if it's actually yang or if it's actually US currency. So that's something we have to actually see when it hits the store shelves in the USA. Price could be different from over there in Japan to over here, as we can definitely tell from Australia. I apologize, guys. I'm so sorry. I think it's just so much more expensive over there. So from DDR3 to DDR4, would I actually make a jump? I wouldn't actually make a jump right now because I don't see that much of a purpose. Even though uh, DDR4 does have lower voltage, higher density, higher frequency. I mean, starting off at, I believe, 2133, I believe, is the starting off frequency for DDR4. DDR3 was 2333. So, but as of right now, DDR3 is still ahead of DDR4 in terms of performance because of uh, it be having higher frequency, capping out I think at around 2800 or 3000 uh, overclocked with those high expensive memory modules that are out there. But also DDR3 uses 1.5 volts and DDR4 is using 1.2 volts so you do get to save energy there. However, I see DDR3 remaining in a lot of rigs, especially gaming rigs, for years to come. There's really no kind of performance increase when it comes to playing video games however if you are video editing then ddr4 is very much applicable to you oh look i have the new system update 4.4.4 which uh pretty much fixes a security bug i believe with ssh but i'm going to install did i say okay google did i i did not say okay google I never said that, I wasn't talking. So, I saw the new AMD FX CPU, the new the box that they showed off, and I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking that it's actually maybe a refresh. I think this is a, re a response to Intel's refresh of the 4790K. I think it's actually a refresh for the AMD. There, there is no lineup of this, but this is actually a surprise to everyone to see this. But, I mean, we're already guessing, but I'm guessing, since the uh, 40, uh, what is that? 47, oh damn, I can't remember the top of my head. The 4.7 uh, gigahertz base clock CPU from AMD, the 90, I wanna say 4.7, all right. Um, the uh, 90, uh, uh, 90, 90, 9590 is it's called. I think this is gonna be a CPU that's the base clock frequency might be around five gigahertz and turbo about 5.2, maybe 5.4 gigahertz or so with that tremendous load and wattage. Oh my goodness. But if it is 125 watts or 150 watts at around five gigahertz, that is actually would be pretty, uh, something people might take a look into. In other news, the GTX 880. Yes, we all know this is coming. Okay, this year, I knew it was coming this year. Uh, so this is gonna be based upon of, of uh, Maxwell. And it's going to be based on 28 nanometers. A lot of people were kind of guessing or hoping for 20 nanometers. I was kind of thinking the same thing, but this is obviously not the case. So it's gonna be 28 nanometers, and maybe with the 880 Ti, it might be 20 nanometers. Yeah, probably not, but this is going to be true likely for the 980 series and 900 series, uh, which I, I, I was actually planning on buying, but now I'm at I'm, I'm 2015, the 900 series is right around the corner. I was planning on buying and adding a second graphics card, but I don't think I actually will 
because it's, it's we're just so close. I feel like I'm really close to the 980, so I might just start saving up and just wait and not spend a single dime. Play on medium settings or high settings, whatever this card could do, especially with the 405 and 454, and just hold out for the 980 graphics card, which should have what I'm thinking here is the 3D RAM, uh, which would have higher density memory modules, would be faster. Uh, so that'll be great. Now, you might say, oh, well, why should I get the 880M? Well, it's going to be faster, obviously, than the 780 Ti. And it's going to have about 3200 CUDA cores right around that area. And it's going to have full, not, not partial, like this 700 and 600 series graphics card, but full support for DirectX 12 games. That should be coming out around the end of the year into next year. So if that's something you want, definitely pick it up. It should have... I'm, I'm hearing people saying 8 gigs of RAM. I'm like, okay, they don't make no sense, right? Because they, they went from, they go from 3 to 8. That I don't. Do you see that? I don't see it. So I'm thinking about 4 gigs of RAM on board, which is nice for 4K video. Anyway, guys, if you have anything to say, maybe I missed something, I probably did, uh, leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.